Hello today. Hello. We got uh, fresh snow today. No. A little bit. Uh, this morning it was very white. We were thinking to go outside. Shall we go outside? Let's just do it when we already have okay. it set up so nicely. So, I wanted to do a video about um, I wanted to do a video about trust. But you just gave me a topic. <laughs> Health? No, because as we talked about how to start with things, people really don't uh, start because they are not feeling they are perfect. Mm -hmm. You know? And I wanted to have this video perfect. So I like more to do it outside. There is no other energy disturbing me. And there is nice light and there are birds and I am kind of more in a flow. But you just gave me this topic to, uh, to have it perfect. For example, I started when I was a little girl and I went to school and we had to do everything in writing in school. We didn't have any iPads or anything like this in school. So I started my uh, fresh, you know, like a school book or something where I had to do my notes, like school notes. And uh, then I really was like, it was one or two pages really neat. Mm -hmm. And uh, third was kind of like not so cool. And fourth and fifth was not nice. So I, d I, every day I came from school and I thought, oh, I have to start all over. So I started to overwrite copy and paste, you know, not in the computer, in a new, in a into new... Do, new one with all the super pictures and then later it got uh, worse again. I had to be very, very attentive and very ca cautious to stay perfect in this. How come? You just wanted to be the, the good girl or you have this tendency to be... Perfect. I think we were raised as a as a society, as a people. We are having so many... Um, when we are born, we think we are perfect. We think our uh, poo is perfect. Everything is... Like, we don't even think about perfection. Look we at are the, pure. Yeah, look at... Mean? Yeah, it's the pureness. Mm -hmm. And then, because you want to fulfill everybody's need and mm -hmm. everybody's expectations you just are trying to fulfill it but uh, with age and with the school and with a lot of different teachers and work life you don't even remember whose expectations you are fulfilling mm -hmm. it gets all messed up the whole picture you don't know mm -hmm. you don't know who you should be and how exactly mm. there is a certain frame which you need to fit in for every single yeah. person so if you're with a bunch of people then yeah you need to have a really interesting frame and then this perfection trying to be perfect is very limiting and it stops us from doing all things we want in life because for example person is overweight and, uh, for example, she wants to lose weight, but she knows she has to uh, lose 20 kilos to feel perfect. But it's such a huge, huge uh, way to go, minus 20 kilos. So it's really, really stressful and painful. And, you know, you have to push yourself really hard to you, be perfect. You're basically just standing in front of the mountain and you're looking up and... And you think, oh, dang it. Yeah. How will I make this? Yes, exactly. Because, for example, if I can say, I um, really love cleaning up. I totally love mm -hmm. it. And when I had my old apartment, I loved to clean it up so much. So everything was perfect. But every time somebody came, it was, I was stressed. I was... Uh, you know, nervous because they moved something or they put, like, you know, brought some stains or did some stains uh -huh. or, you know. And so 
the perfection perfection is great because um, a lot of those people like Dr. Joe or or uh, this guy with the gray hair um, maybe Bruce Lipton as well but I know Greg Braden they t they say we are already perfect but um, because we are perfect in our own way but life can't be perfect according to the mind perfect if you want to be perfect if something is perfect it is usually dead you know How only, come? only there when it's no like moving uh, you you just it's it's like dead it's something mm, everything is alive something uh, that is from, constant yeah something what can't change yes mm -hmm. Exactly. Like you you hang an image on the wall or a painting on the wall and it's it's there perfectly. Yeah, but uh could be example, but it's more like um you don't change. It's static, it can't be in motion, it can't you have a change. you have a you have a tree outside now and um let's say it's blooming it's perfect if we have this tree outside of our house and it's blooming it's perfect you know but then there comes change and uh, and fall and, and there's a broken a broken yeah. uh, branch and something is alive something is yeah something it's interacting mm -hmm. with the environment so it's very hard for people to stay perfect maybe uh and we we carry it with us everywhere and it's really like um paralyzing for us mm -hmm. we also if we have for example some sickness or disease and uh, we are still observing our body if the if there is a little mm, little rash somewhere or a little pain somewhere we feel that we are not perfect and when it's not perfect it's not healthy but I would love to talk about these issues later, about connection with the body, because it's basically saying I'm still alive, you know, I'm interacting with something, I'm reacting. Mm -hmm. But if there is, um, if the body is not reacting and not communicating and, you know, it's usually when it's uh, somebody transitioned, probably, you know. Mm -hmm. because uh, even the best sportsmen when they go to run they feel some something somewhere they are aware they have a body they do they step on a stone it gives them information this is painful there here is pain not perfect right mm -hmm. so you can use it to your advantage right how how mm -hmm. You mean perfection or? Yeah, what do you mean? What do you, what can I use to my advantage? Just to be relieved from this information, with this information that if you're, for example, suffering with the sick, disease or sickness, you can always think, hey, but uh, my body is dealing with something, my body is, you know, my body is okay, it says something, it's communicating. It's not a bad thing, mm -hmm. you know, to have scratches on the wall. It's not a bad thing. It means that your children were going silly and crazy and alive and they were in a flow and they did something out of normal, out of the dead, mm -hmm. you know, out of, um, I don't know. So what do you, do you think there could be some questions or sharings about perfections mm, so you mean that instead of thinking that you have to be perfect or being worried when you notice that something is not the way it is supposed to be instead of doing this mm. you're more mm. calm and and uh, i think yeah you're more calm and you're yes experiencing it just in the present as being as understanding that nothing is is constant that there's still things changing and you're still adapting to mm -hmm. your environment it's constant conversation mm -hmm. 
we mm -hmm. are basically still co communicating. How boring would life be if everything would be perfect? It would be uh, boring to, you death. know, death. <laughs> people yeah. say it, yeah. yeah. And I'm bored uh, to death, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's too much to take in in life, right? Mm. Like uh, a lot of things are happening, especially now. Mm -hmm. And um, and it is it is hard because uh, you I am I am somebody that uh, I like to set my mind for something. You know, maybe it's also because I'm a man. I have a certain intention and I want to go for it. And there is uh, there is diversity uh, coming in my way, and I just I'm raging, you know. I I want to go just there say, directly. Just say the experience. Just say it quickly. The the say it. <laughs> <laughs> so just uh, just the past three days, I wanted to order a few more uh, supply like um, monitor, uh, electronics, computer electronics, and. I have had this for many years that I just want, I set my mind to get a certain thing and then I just want to get it done. I want to have it off my table. Okay. I decided now. I will have it. I do it now. Yeah. Then it took me a whole day to research about the different kinds of monitors to understand what I need, what's best for me. Then I know, okay. I want to have this one. Then I search for the price. Where can I get the best price? Uh, how is it with the shipping? And I am so stressed about it. I am so pushing towards having this exact thing as soon as possible that nine out of ten times I face some um, miraculous ways how things are not working out so he is amazing in creating obstacles <laughs> for his packages to arrive and uh, he always when he orders something it's it's never in, never on time it's never it's always laid with some kind of obstacles and he really really needs it mm -hmm. and i am ordering stuff and um, i don't care if it comes on monday or friday when i need it i of course call but um he is really rafael is really having a really hard time with this mm -hmm. and uh, this time it happened again yeah and my mother after after that came and she said i ordered something um yesterday um you know uh, at at eight o'clock at night and it's already being shipped <laughs> <laughs> it's all over they are already it's already on its way mm -hmm. and it has nothing to do with the service provider or with uh, the delivery people it's just what I am creating in my head because I'm pushing so much towards one thing and I don't want to face any diversity. I don't want to face any change, any obstacles, nothing. I'm so pushed towards that, which is uh, giving me exactly the opposite. So I can experience how life is like and uh, I am I can be more calm about those things. But he's not calm. I'm not calm. No. And then I am yet. not calm. <laughs> but about transfer of energies, we will talk later. In, uh -huh. uh, in, and uh, but um, I think the best um, is to for you to know that you are not alone in this, and to not be impatient uh, about this. To be really like calm. Uh, patient and patience is to me like uh, somebody going to hospital you know patient mm -hmm. but just be calm be like chilling just he was waiting for me and I'm always a little bit late with him and yesterday I saw he was uh, taking out the car and opening the gates and uh, just staring into the into the forest enjoying the forest and i thought rafael will be a little bit impatient but i was surprised because he used that moment to to be mm, looking in the forest and just enjoying be a present. moment yeah it's a really great example because in the beginning it was uh, exactly the same topic as i just told you about you know i i decided okay we go we go shopping, you know, 
and uh, I have to wait for, for you. And this has changed quite soon. I, I was quite soon able to adapt that and just be happy. I, I usually am waiting outside for you. And, you know, I just do some stuff around the house maybe. Mm -hmm. And you come when you come and I'm not in a hurry. Yep. And it's it's so uh, it's so peaceful. And it's not perfect. It's not. But uh, if you and it yeah. is it is peaceful for me and calm because I am not. Um, how do you say the headed? Um, like a bull. Yeah, like I'm not. I'm not that much um so, stubborn yeah i'm not that stubborn for a certain outcome mm -hmm. to become reality i am i'm just being and i know okay we're going there and uh yeah once mm -hmm. we also got in the car and we decided hey we started to drive and we said hey no let's stay here and that would have been it was no like go in the past right death for me you know i i feel how it's eating me alive when when something like this happens and we just started to drive right and we mm -hmm. decided that hey i said that mm -hmm. i said i let's just go home mm -hmm. and then it was really good that we stayed home yeah that was for something it, it is always for something it was it was something uh, some storm there or something. i don't remember i don't remember either but it's okay it you just and sometimes mm. it's working better than other times yeah yes it depends mm -hmm. but um you know it's uh very very stressful for people to especially in this this time to have perfect body perfectly communicating have perfect bank account and uh you know be perfectly spiritual relationship and family in, yeah everything has to be like this and then we are so hard on each other on on, on us mm -hmm. because and this is so much stress and pressure and also we can on be, others and we can be angry on ourselves so just forgive yourself for uh, just be nice to you be gentle to you this year for me 2021 is a year uh, when i want to be more gentle to myself so maybe you can um, take this as a challenge and inspiration and you can also challenge take it as an inspiration <laughs> as, a, as a fun thing yeah as a fun thing and uh, be more gentle to you because perfections creates there is a in german uh, you can say it nicely perfection weckt aggression which means perfection awakens aggression mm -hmm. And that means that what I just said, when you want to be perfect and you don't make it, then you are pissed at yourself mm -hmm. and aggressive towards yourself and you're pushing harder and harder. The body is tired. Everybody around you could be tired, mm -hmm. but you still want to get there because <laughs> you promised and stuff. Yeah. And then it's aggression is, uh, is born. And mm -hmm. For nothing so you don't have to go through a lot of um, pain and suffering when you will follow these um, easy instructions and uh, I think if you have more questions about this topic please post it in our Facebook group or underneath the video and uh, we would love to answer it but mm -hmm. I hope we covered it quite yes. full. Yeah. Mm? Okay. So All right. see you. Yeah, we are happy to see you in uh, in our Facebook group. And the link uh, in the in the description you can find. Mm? You can find it. Yeah, so we are happy to be having coffee or tea with you and just uh, have something uh, some inspiration. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you there. Bye.